We'll now go through the main differences between App Store optimization on the App Store versus on Google Play. In these videos, we show the different experiences when users scroll through app pages on the App Store on the left compared to Google Play on the right. Think about the similarities and differences that you see and how they might impact your ASO strategy on each store. It's not only app pages that vary between the stores, the search results also look very different. What do you notice about keyword searches on the App Store and on Google Play? Notice anything interesting? Let's take a look. Let's start by discussing how the visibility of app metadata differs on both stores. We already know that the keywords in your metadata are the biggest factors the stores look at when ranking your app. This is true, but there are some differences to be aware of for keyword optimization on both stores. First, your app name is a strong ranking signal on both the App Store and on Google Play. Did you notice that the App Store search results are a lot busier than on the Play Store? This is because on the App Store, apps that you've never downloaded on your device before will appear in the search results with their name, as well as with the icon, subtitle, screenshots, and video if they have one. On Google Play, however, only the app name and icon appear for generic, non-brand related keywords. This means that app names on Android are much more important to express what your app's about and to convince users to download it over your competitors. Moving on, do you know how subtitles differ between the stores? On the App Store, the subtitle is a 30 character space that as we see here, also appears in the search results just below the app name. As a result, your app subtitle on iOS should provide users with more information about your app and its purpose. On the other hand, the subtitle on Google Play is called the short description. The short description is an 80 character space that only appears on the app listing just below the screenshots. Since users must have already clicked onto your app page to see it, it's best to write a short description that contains a call to action and encourages users to download your app. Next, the long description. We find long descriptions on the App Store and on Google Play. On both stores, the biggest purpose of the long description is to explain your app's main features and benefits to users. But how do the long descriptions differ? On the App Store, the long description can be found underneath the screenshots. Long descriptions on the App Store are not indexed and don't impact your app's keyword rankings. Because of this, you can be a little more creative in your long description on iOS and really align your messaging with your brand. On the other hand, on Google Play, you need to click the arrow next to About This App to read the long description. Unlike on iOS, the Android algorithm definitely considers the keywords in your long description when indexing and ranking your app in the search results. Therefore, when writing your long description for Google Play, it's a good plan to follow SEO best practices by maintaining a high density of your top priority keywords. This last point brings us on to one of the biggest differences between keyword optimization on the App Store and on Google Play, keyword density. Similar to SEO, carefully repeating your top target keywords throughout your title, short description, and long description really helps Google to understand your app's purpose and identify the keywords that are most important for your app to rank. Repeating keywords in your metadata on the App Store, however, is not recommended. Instead of looking at the long description, Apple looks at a 100 character keyword field to decide which keywords to rank your app for. This keyword field is not visible on your app page and represents a 100 character opportunity to focus solely on keyword optimization. Now, can you think of any differences between the App Store and Google Play which don't revolve around keywords? How about now? Something you might have noticed is the presence of a banner image 
at the top of certain app pages on the App Store. This creative, called the banner or promotional artwork, doesn't exist at all on the Play Store. So what is this banner exactly? Only select developers can add a custom banner to their App Store listing, and this is only possible through an invitation from Apple. The banner allows developers to better showcase their brand identity and often contains a brand logo to make the page even more distinguishable. However, keep in mind that once you've uploaded your banner artwork, it's not easy to change it. Therefore, the promotional artwork you design for your banner should be pretty evergreen. Another major difference between both stores relates to screenshots. On Google Play, portrait screenshots on the app page display much smaller and narrower than on the App Store. Did you notice any differences between the screenshots in the search results? On Google Play, your screenshots, videos and feature graphic won't appear alongside your app in the search results. This is unlike the App Store, where creatives do appear in the search results. Because the screenshots won't appear in the search results on Google Play, your app name and icon play a very important role in terms of conversion. Instead of having screenshots to fall back on, it's now your app name and icon that have to explain what your app is all about. But why do screenshots show in Android search results for the words Tetris, Tinder, and Zoom. So it's actually because these are branded keywords for which we will see an app screenshots, videos, and so on in the search results. Despite this, keep in mind that screenshots on Google Play will still appear much smaller than on the App Store, meaning that any text on your creatives will be a little more difficult to read. On the App Store, screenshots and or videos do usually appear in the search results. As shown here, we can see the first three portrait screenshots in the search results. But when you use landscape screenshots or videos, only the first one appears. As a result, the screenshots you design for the App Store play a very important role in explaining your app's main features and helping your app stand out from its competitors. Something to keep in mind is that since the release of iOS 15, App Store screenshots don't appear at all in search results for apps that you've already downloaded. However, any in-app event card that's currently running will show, even if the app has already been downloaded. Thanks to this, in-app events present a great opportunity to grab the attention of your users and encourage them to revisit your app. Finally, there are a few ASO ranking factors that are specific to Google Play and not relevant to the App Store. First, Google Play definitely considers your app's retention rate when positioning your app across the store. Yes, your conversion rates and number of downloads do matter, but how well your app retains users is arguably one of the most important ranking signals on Google Play. It makes sense. Google wants to provide the best experience possible for Play Store users. And to do so, the store prioritizes apps that people seem to like in the long term. Next your Android vitals. These are important metrics logged by Google to measure the performance and stability of your app, like your app's crash rate or the battery consumption. Android vitals signal the apps that provide a satisfying, high quality experience that's likely to contribute positively to the Google Play Marketplace. And last but not least, backlinks. When ranking your app, the Play Store algorithm also considers the number and quality of websites that direct visitors to download your app. Google's algorithm looks at the power and credibility of these websites by considering the page views, bounce rate, the keywords used in the URL, which should also be related to your app's content, and more. The more reliable the websites pointing to your app are, the better the backlink. Increasing the quality of your backlinks and monitoring those you already have is an activity that can help to improve your rankings on Google Play. So, those were the main differences between ASO on the App Store compared to Google Play.